Well, if you have a Ryzen 9 3900X or 3950X or really any 3000 series Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 9 and want to get a bit more performance out of it and or get a bit more FPS or just performance in productivity out of it while reducing the noise of your system and the power consumption all at the same time, this is the right video for you. So welcome back at Emotion PS News we also now have shirts apparently. Little disclaimer, okay? So this video is going to be based on an Asus motherboard and we are doing it in the BIOS of the system. But but if you're having troubles with the BIOS, you can also do it in Ryzen Master, but it's going to be just slightly less effective. But I do have my dedicated undervolt, your Ryzen 9 1300 XT video for that. So in case you want to do that, go check that one out. If you're fine with the BIOS, let's start. It's going to be really quick, but promise me one thing. If the video ends up being helpful in the end, you will drop a like and subscribe to the channel to support me and to allow me to keep doing those undervolts for you guys. I'm trying slowly to cover every single component in existence. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in the BIOS. Now we're going to have three different presets. The first one is going to be what they probably recommend to most of you, and it's going to be a performance preset. Then we're going to have a more efficient preset with the lowest possible power consumption and temperature. And then a third one for those of you who want to keep the dynamic function of the CPU because the first two are going to be basically a voltage point overclock, so locking the CPU at a certain voltage point. So in case you want a dynamic one, we will have that one covered as well. Now, again, if you have a different motherboard vendor, like if you have a Gigabyte, MSI, ASRock, etc., things are going to be called differently, but they're going to be the same. So let's get started. So you want to go in the overclocking or tweaker or AI tweaker section, which in Asus boards is called AI tweaker. So right there, you want to set it on manual but uh, again, if you want to enable the XMP on your RAM, which you should, you want to put DOCP, okay? So just uh, enable your RAM XMP as well, but test this separately. But you want to have this. You also want to have resettable bar, by the way. Make sure you have it. Let's get started with the actual tutorial. So for the first preset, we want to go on the CPU core ratio and put 42 in there, okay? So it's going to run at 4.2 gigahertz, whereas the normal AVX ratio is going to be 37 or 38. So it's pretty good improvement. Then you want to go all the way down until you find the CPU voltage. And under CPU voltage, you want to put it on manual and put 1.25. So the first preset is done. So if you want to just copy it, just put 42, 1.25, save and exit, check if it's stable and drop a like and a sub, I guess. But uh, again, you always want to maybe double check this one uh, single handedly, but I will talk about it uh, uh, later on. But basically, you want to run a stress test. And if it's not stable, maybe give it a bit more. You can go all the way up to 1.275 with the CPU while being completely safe and while still retaining the gains in temperature. But anyways, second preset for efficiency is going to be at 40. So if you settle down at 40, you can usually run it on 1.1. And this is going to be, again, dramatically lower in temperature. So this is the second preset. Again, here, if you're really lucky, you may be able to run it on 1.075. And if you're really unlucky, you may need up until 1.15 on the worst possible CPU out there. On average, 1.1 is going to be fine, maybe 1.125. But yeah, you get the point. And this is it for our static preset. Let's now take a look at the dynamic one. So for the dynamic, you want to leave the core ratio at stock and go on the CPU voltage and put it on offset. Set it on minus and give it 0.05 and save and exit. And it's done. Again, if this is unstable because you're really unlucky, you may want to do 0.04, but you get the point, okay? 0.0375, yeah, it's fine. The bigger this number, the more your temperature gains are going to be and just the better the PC is going to run pretty much. So the bigger offset you can get, the better it is. But you also want to retain stability, of course. Now, little bonus tip, since you're still here, uh, you also maybe want to set the FCLK to half your RAM speed for extra performance. So for example, you go in here and you slot it to 1800 and you are going to get a bit extra performance as well. Again, this is it. Quick video for you guys. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you need anything, just drop a comment. And uh, I have a video for your GPU as well, by the way, if you want to undervolt that one as well, they're on the channel. And uh, yeah, we are also overclocking joysticks lately. I don't know, things are getting out of hands. So I hope to see you guys in another video and uh, take care. Bye bye.